Okay, we're back with the Django fight, which this time it's easier with the Bluster character, because you can just shoot him up. He hasn't even hit me once, and I am kicking his ass. Eventually, he'll lose his jetpack, but you can just keep firing on him. Now he's getting sucky. Oh, dang it, now I died. He got me twice in a row. Where's my studs? You can force push those things back again, but there we go. I'm surprised I got that many studs. Yeah, you really need invincibility on that level to get anything. But I'm just gonna wander around the dino a little bit, because I've had a lot of short videos lately. Thanks to YouTube's stupid 11 minute time limit. Why do I have R2 still? Yeah, I'll switch them all. Here we go. Just for the heck of it. Break open some trash can. See if we can see any epo- Yeah, see, see, he's trying to kick my ass. And yes, the think well, you won't lose any studs out here, but yeah, they will hurt. You just cracked our two. What the crap, man? But yeah, that's one thing you run into out here is enemy characters will try to beat the crap out of other enemy characters. Even if I switch characters, they'll start about they'll start trying to beat the crap out of each other, which I find hilarious. As I get myself killed. See, everyone's after him. Obviously, Anakin doesn't do anything, so he can't get the crap out of him, but... Obviously, you can kill your own guys. Die already! Jeez! Does he have invincibility or something? My god. Come on, stay put so I can shock you. Yeah, you can actually immobilize other droids. I don't think it works on people, but yeah, we'll temporarily disable another droid. Which is kind of cool. It doesn't have much uses, but... Why they have 18,000 versions of Padme in this game, I have no idea. Actually, I think that's it for now. So I will see you guys next time.